Donald Cardozo Baron, spiritual master teacher, father of a divine rainbow child Nelly Bellan. How to love the universe, having a love affair with the cosmos is what dreams are made of. It's time to ditch your anxiety for complete assurance that the universe has got your back. Start every day with gratitude by completing these simple steps. Thank the universe, God, life, for the fact you woke up. Give thanks for the bed that kept you comfortable all night, and offer other things many of us take for granted. Family, food, clothing, a job a place to live, friends, and so on. Meditate, that is, prepare your mind for miracles. The universe's wish is that we be happy now. The universe is not interested in what plans we have to postpone our happiness on the chance we will attain it in the future. Furthermore, it is not concerned regarding any subconscious desire we might have to retain our psychic obstacles to love no matter our reasons for so doing, and regardless of the origins of those love blocking strategies. By meditating, we cooperate with the universe's wish for us to be happy and clear our mind of any thought that tries to convince us otherwise. Start meditation with a simple request to your mind. Dear mind, I am about to enter into meditation. I thank you for being concerned about my well-being and how you look for various solutions to my problems. However, I am now giving you some time off as I take over responsibility for our well-being from a deeper part of self. I assure you that I will come back to you after a short while and ask that you support this process by not attempting anxiously to reassert your control either by interrupting the meditation, by distracting me or by creating some mini drama. I want you to know that this process is safe, and that you and I will become stronger, more capable and more resilient as a result. Thank you for your trust and patience. Send love to people, just because you can. When you send love to another person, it will automatically come back to you. Even if you cannot act in a loving way you can always send people love with your thoughts. Be gentle with yourself. This is known as self-compassion, and remember how far you've already come. When you begin to lose faith in a cosmic force God, the universe, it is always useful to take note of how far you've come over the past one year, five years, ten years, and so on. You will be surprised at how much you've grown. Surrender your plans and let life take over. Life has a plan that works, we don't. Surrender your own plans to the universe and take inspired steps based on what life brings to you. You will save yourself a lot of time and a lot of heartache. This can start with a simple prayer dear universe, I do not know what is best for me today, so I leave the blessings in your hands, ditch, or if you prefer, discipline, the ego, the ego's agenda, based as it is on faulty interpretations of reality bent to socially and culturally dictated criteria regarding fitting in and belonging, can be a troublemaker. It's like a sincere friend who is constantly pressuring you to act in ways that it perceives are in your, really, its, best interests. The ego's agenda is not necessarily healthy or good for you. You can ditch, or, again, discipline, your ego by doing what feels right from a deeper perspective and not according to what you think you should do. You can ditch, train, your ego by loving, accepting, caring about, appreciating, yourself more just the way you are and by no longer judging other people as much. Spend time outside and with nature, no. This step is not asking you to go and hug a tree. This step is about going outside and receiving the gifts of the universe for yourself. See the beauty in the flowers and the sky. Listen to birds singing. Take time to smell the grass and feel the wind. You may notice that, whilst you're doing any of these things, it's impossible to be unhappy. Keep an open mind. 
practice perceiving through all of your senses. Life is already speaking to you in many ways. Be open and receptive to the messages life has to offer. Breathe deeply and listen to your heartbeat. If you really want to feel the presence of the universe, following the principle, what is without reflects what is within. Then take some time to listen to your heartbeat and feel your breath sense your own presence. You can do this by dancing to your favorite song. For example, love is a choice and not a reaction. You are free to make the decision to love. As you learn to love yourself more and as you practice loving others until you become good at it, you will begin to feel love for the whole universe swelling up within you. Once you're there, you'll know you've arrived. The universe loves you.